All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we're gonna do something simple. We got Ella, say hey. Hello. But uh, my daughter, she's, she's over there chilling, watching her. Um, but uh, so I had a little scare yesterday with the generator. I thought maybe I had locked up the generator because I haven't changed the oil in it since I got it. And it's been months and I have it on my list of things to do. Generator oil. And I've been neglecting it and this is literally the heart of the operation. This powers everything. Without the generator, I can't use the pressure washer. Without the generator, I can't pretty much, that's not too much I could do to vacuum, all that stuff. Is powered off of this generator. So, um, so what I think is the problem, what happened yesterday is it got too hot. I think that's, that's what the issue was. Um, I thought I locked it up and that it, maybe it was low on oil, which it is a little bit low on oil, but, um, that's what we're about to do now though. We're about to change the oil out of it. And then, um, I think what I'm going to do is so wherever where I put the generator at in the van, which is on like say the van's right here, it's on the left side in the corner. Um, I need to build some type of slide out, something to where it slides out, and it can be out of the van. That way, it can, I guess breathe properly. I guess if that makes sense, because I really think this thing, I I really feel like it gets too hot because I notice it starts to sputter a little bit whenever it's um, it's hot, obviously. <laughs> And then, like I said, um, when I'm using it a lot, so uh, this week has been pretty hectic and I had already, it had already been running for like four or five hours straight. Then it had like, like an hour break and then it's inside of the van. So it doesn't really have, it cools off, but it doesn't really have that time to cool off like it should. And not like if it was outside, basically, if that makes sense. But what I'm gonna do in t for the meantime until I figure that out, um, Either I will switch where the generator is going to be and I'm going to put it on the opposite side. So that way, cause that door, that door, I can usually open all the way. The other door can only do this depending on where I'm parked at, but I put it on the opposite side and have it sliding out right there. Or, um, or, uh, for the meantime, I'm probably going to have like a little fan or something to, to be able to push. Uh, the air out and I don't know to help cool it to keep it cool because I think it, it's overheating I think that's what it's doing but right now what I'm doing is Ella's chilling <laughs> that's mouth. she's chilling and I'm about to change the uh I am about to change the oil in this thing because like I said it it's it's time and the oil plugs in the weirdest place ever too but it's been it's been past that time. But yeah, then changing the oil. I mean, it's pretty simple and straightforward, just like as a car. But the only thing I would say is the oh, the oil pack, like the plug, it's in the weirdest spot ever. So. I'm trying to get better when it comes to maintenance because obviously that's super important. And this generator wasn't cheap. This generator was like 500 bucks. That, that oil needs to be changed for real. Oh, that thing black. Y'all can't see. Oh yeah, that oil needs to be changed. So, all right, so Ella's gonna take over for a little bit. All right, here you go, mom. Here, you got your finger like this, like this, with one hand, like that. Uh. Look at me, look at me. All right, go back, go back. You look at it, make sure it's looking at daddy. You gotta make sure. Is it looking, you can see me? So y'all can see that oil needed to be changed. That oil, that's bad. I gotta do better than that. So, about to go ahead and my girl, mm -hmm. daddy's recording. Mm -hmm. You want to hold it? Yeah. You got your. <laughs> yeah. What you think?
think? Does the oil nasty say yuck? Yuck. Yucky. Yucky. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh leave that alone. That's for that's for the oil. Oil? Yeah. So at first I thought this was low on the oil, and I did know for sure, but now I know for sure now. It does have a sensor for when it's low on oil, so it doesn't harm the um the whole thing, so it'll shut off. So shut off if uh right here it says engine will not start or will shut off if sensor detects low lubricant level. So if it's low on oil, too low on oil, it will shut the whole thing off and I will not be able to start it up until you add more oil uh to it. So I thought that I wasn't sure if it had that. But because at first when it, it didn't want to start back up and I was like, what is going on? I think maybe it's low on oil. Maybe I locked it up. But then I was like, I think it has a sensor to make sure that doesn't happen. But that's good to know. That's some safety stuff. So I got to pull this out of the garage, start it up, make sure it's running right. Make sure everything is good with it. And then that's pretty much it with this. Now, the generator itself is you. There's a lot of maintenance to it that I need to make sure I do because the fuel filter, this right here, I need to make sure I maintenance that. Um, I think this is the carburetor right here. This is the train. Uh, make sure I maintenance that. And there's a whole thing. So I have the, the book showing how to maintenance everything. So in the next month or so, I'll probably go and do a more thorough maintenance, like on the next oil change that I'm gonna do. Um, when I change the oil, it's the maintenance, the fuel filter, the carburetor, and do, it, do everything it said. I'm supposed to pull the spark plug out as well supposed to pull that out and clean it or change it I saw but um and blow it off with air or whatever so I need it that's that'll be on the next oil change but I'm gonna go ahead and start this up and make sure everything is good all right y'all so I know this looks ugly but this is another reason why I haven't redid the floor as well because like I said when I first started doing this I knew that like all the equipment that I have, it was gonna go through a yes ma'am. You wanna wash the you wanna wash the van? Yeah. Okay, we'll wash it later, okay? okay. Don't play with that. Alright. Leave that alone. Hello? Alright. Go get your cocoa. So, like I said, I didn't wanna redo this floor because I knew all this stuff is gonna be switching around. So that shelf is gonna be permanent, but I'll make a full video, y'all, of the current uh, setup or at the moment. I think what I'm gonna have to do is right now, the generator sits right here. This is where it sits. And then these lock it into place whenever I put it so it doesn't slide, doesn't move, nothing, none of that. Because it creates a lot of vibration, right? Um, but basically what I'm gonna do, the generator is gonna have to come, have to be put in the middle. I think that's what's, that was gonna have to happen. It's gonna have to be put in the middle right here. All of this stuff is going to have to be put on the side as for that too. Like all this is going to have to be put on the side yeah. somewhere right here. And then obviously yeah. that'll stay right here. But honestly, all my hose reels are probably going this side. I prefer for this no. because this is the side that I normally have to work no. from. Hold on, mom. Hold on. Dad's recording. All right. So like I said, this will have to go in the middle. Um, that way, because if I build like a slide out right here, the issue I have is this door and all the heat is going to just hit this door right here. That's that's what's going to happen. It'll be a little bit better than being cooped up right here in this corner. But if I put it in the middle, I'll be able to slide it out. This side is usually open like this. So it have enough room. You need help? What you need help with? You're trying to find uh, the. So make sure y'all stay tuned for the video. I'm going to give y'all update all the new equipment. If I have any new one from the last time that I um, did it for sure. The generator's new. Um, the next step would to be um, what I want to do whenever I redo the van again. Whenever I get to that point, I do want my pressure washer is in the eye right spot. But my water pump, I need it to be a little further. Um, like even right here somewhere like 
where I don't have to reach all the way back there to grab it. Even the vacuum, like I don't want to have to reach and get inside there to plug it up because I don't have one of those fancy hose reels. Um, so I want to do that, but I don't really know where I have, where to place it at this moment. I have the room to do it. I just got to figure out a very creative way to get it where I need it to be. I mean, everything is getting where it's not like the, the This used to be way back here. Now it's right here. So those two needs, to, this for sure needs to be right here. Now, if we remember, we was doing some maintenance on the generator. So we're fixing this one and then we got to fix this generator right here as well. So um, this one, I'm going to keep as a backup. That one is still good. Just the little, the little thing broke on it. So I'm about to go ahead and fix this one. I don't even know if it has gas in it, to be honest with you. I have no clue if this is even gonna work because there's a big difference, <laughs> a big difference between this and this one. This one is a whole lot smaller than this one. This is a whole lot bigger. All right, y'all, so this is where we gonna end the video. So I'm going ahead this is fixed. I had to change. I think it's like the, the pump or something at the bottom. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's this piece right here. It had, I dropped it a while back and that's when I switched to electric, but I changed it. Um, this pressure washer is just a backup pressure washer. It works fine. Um, this one is just going to be mainly for the house, to be honest with you, for me to wash the cars at the house and that's it. I don't have a plan bringing it, bringing it with me on a job or anything, unless say my, um, my Yobi, however you say it, pressure washer stops working or something like that. And even then th those pressure washers are like a hundred bucks. I'm still waiting on a piece to come in for this generator. Um, all it is is the string, which is on, it's on this side. The string, um, is broken on it. So, I have it it is under warranty and they sent me the part for free and everything so I'm waiting on that hopefully I'll have this fixed soon and this may sit with my other equipment and I don't know I may take this on the job with me for like just in case something happens I have this with me if something happens with that other generator just in case so uh I don't know or say uh, or say I got a helper with me, right? And we working on vehicle on the vehicles and maybe I'm using up everything with the with this generator or I don't know. It'll, it'll, it'll come in handy, but it's it keep you if tools like this are you know this type of stuff like the generators, the pressure washers, I, I I would suggest you keep them. Don't get rid of them. Unless you you start to accumulate three, four, five, then yeah, sell them off, sell them but at least keep you one extra. So I got an extra pressure washer, I got an extra generator, because you never know what happened. I even kept my old steam cleaner. I even I even got that. And then my old, what I used to shampoo with is right here. So I even kept that stuff just because you, you just never know. Now I got rid of the very first generator that I had. I got rid of that one, but um, I got this one, so I'm good. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a, have a good day and I'll see y'all in the next one.